a mop named Mopsy, and his quick cleaning spree. In the corner of a kitchen, in a regular old house, something was fixing to happen that would make most say, wow. This mop named Mopsy sat in the corner listening to another bout, hearing yet another argument about how long it was taking to get out. It seems that no one could find their shoes, much less their socks whose whereabouts no one knew. The way they were all flopped made it hard to find any clues. It had definitely soured everyone's mood. This mop named Mopsy looked around daunted at all the clutter that made them feel haunted. He wondered what he could do to help, but he was only a mop leaning by a broom sitting on his head next to a shelf. Mopsy's hair was floppy. It was strange being turvy topsy. With his leg in the air and head on the floor, he started to believe that maybe he could do more. He waited until the family finally left, then turned to the broom I mentioned before. He whispered, My name is Mopsy. May I ask, what is yours? Of course, my name is Swipsy. You know, I've never spoken before. I haven't either, said Mopsy, as he looked towards Swipsy, flipping his hair all flopsily as he spun around on the floor. I bet we can do lots of things we didn't know. I bet we can help this family from feeling too low. I bet if we help clean part of this mess and everything they needed was where they would know, it would cause a whole lot less stress when they are trying to get ready to go. I think so too, was Swipsy's reply as he leaned over a bit and started to slide. All the way across the floor he did glide, pushing everything in front of him and piling it to the side. Now if only we had a way to organize, Mopsy thought with excitement in his eyes. This stuff to make it easier to find, I wonder what else we can bring to life. Mopsy slid himself on over to one of the cabinets, then he heard a faint sound like something was trapped in it. He opened it slowly, fearing what he had no way of knowing. He stared into the dark, focused on it solely. Out popped a hand with the voice of a man. Hello, I wish to join your newly formed clan. I'm a glove shaped like a hand and my name is not too fancy. Most of my friends in the band, they just call me Hanshi. Hanshi jumped down and went straight to the piles that Swipsy had pushed across all the tiles. He put them in places that were easy to see, then even made a list that worked like a file. Anyone who would take a glance at least would know where to find those things for their feet. He included instructions on where things should go and the importance of it so everyone can know. Since consistency is key and it makes us a great team, he wrote it in a way that was easy to show over and over if needed, fast or slow. Mopsy marveled at Hanshi and how quickly he cleaned. He could see they could use a few more for the dream. So Mopsy flopped with his hair slipping and flipsing to see who else might want to join the team with Hanshi and Swipsy. He stopped as he saw in the corner there sitting, a rag in a bucket. In his mind, an idea was flitting. Mopsy flipped on over to the rag in the bucket. He knocked the bucket's side, trying to budge it. Hey, said the bucket as his bum did rub across the floor with a sound like a loud screeching scrub. It's always unexpected when someone kicks the bucket, laughed the rag from his place on the side he was tucked in. Don't mind him, his name is Grungy, and Grungy there tends to be a bit grumpy. And I'll introduce myself, my name is Tubsy, and I think it's about time that both of us did something. We just don't know what it is we could do without soap and a sponge we fear we are of no use. This made Mopsy pause as he thought about this conundrum. As far as a soap and sponge, he didn't know where to find them. He could try to call out loud, so he took a deep breath in, is there a soap or sponge that might help us with the cleaning? As soon as he said it, he started to feel sheepish. Dumb idea, he thought to himself until he heard a call from up on the shelf. Did I hear your name is Mopsy? I can be your soap. My name is Sopsy. I heard your call for soap, you see. I tell that I can for sure guarantee that you will never find a soap like me. Then they all turned when they heard a call from the sink. Did I hear something's in need of a cleaning? That's what I do, came a voice that was singing. I'm a sponge named Spongy, he said as he was bringing him to help out with all the cleaning. Mopsy helped Sopsy by knocking him over softly so he could drip out droppily. He did it gently so he wouldn't do it sloppily. Then Spongy jumped in Tubsy. You wouldn't believe how quick they were scrubbing. Grungy followed Spongy everywhere he went while Tubsy held Sopsy and stayed where they were sent. Mopsy and Swipsy flipped about swiftly, getting things to Hanshi who organized them quickly. 
In no time at all, everything was clean and back to rest went the whole team. Just in time, it would surely seem, they could hear the family outside hollering. They were back where they were meant to be before anyone had a chance to see. They watched quietly, hushing as the door opened silently. Inside the family walked. Silent they fell as they gawked. I can't believe it. Are you guys seeing this? Look how clean it is. How on earth did it get all spiffed? One muttered as they walked around in wonder. They kept looking back at each other, asking who would break in to clean up their clutter. Then one found the file that Hanshi left behind. On the counter it sat, while neatly lined with tips and notes to tell them where things go, along with an agreement to sign. How easy it was to read, they just couldn't believe. They signed it with glee. They knew what it could mean. They knew they all could agree that it would make them a better team. If this Mopsy and his friends could do this quick clean in a story that sounds too much like a dream, do you think you could do what you need to be? to have that high level of a great family team? The end. What did you learn from this story about confidence? Believing in yourself even when it feels like you shouldn't and coordination, working together. Do you think if Mopsy had not believed that he could help, that we, he would have been able to come to life in our story? If you believe you can, then you can. But if you convince yourself you can't, just because you don't want to or don't think you can, well, then you probably won't. Coordination is about working together. Do you think if your family works together really well that we could avoid getting frustrated about the little things like shoes and getting out of the house on time? Your best teammates just want what is best for you and they're trying to do their best all the time. Working together and caring enough about them to think about how something might make them feel goes a long way to having the best relationships and being the best teammate that you can be. Be the best at being you.